Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Dr. Lasker. I'm a consultant radiologist and thank you for watching this video. So I'm going to build on the previous topics that we've been touching on. We've touched on contrast and the phase of imaging that is really useful. If you haven't watched those videos, please feel free to go back to those videos before watching this one. So this particular video is talking about something called the Bastion Protocol. And you kiss your mother with that mouth? Well, I'm going to say that again so no one thinks I've sworn out there. Bastion protocol. The Bastion protocol is something that came up from the war in Afghanistan, Camp Bastion to be more precise. And what we do is actually try and get an image where we have a combination of contrast in two different compartments. Hmm, interesting. Try and think about it from this point of view. If you've got someone who's had a traumatic injury, like someone who's been in a war and they've unfortunately had something quite terrible happen to them, then you can't be sitting there trying to figure out what kind of scan you want, you know, which bits might be injured and which bits are not injured. You have no time for rest. The time is of the essence in these situations. You need to get a scan as quickly as possible, get them through and figure out what's going on. And that is where this bastion protocol comes into play. Hold up. On the previous video, I didn't really want to go into this concept too much because I wanted you guys to get through the first concept before going through this concept. If you haven't watched that video, I'd really appreciate it if you watched that first before watching this one. Um, okay. In that video, I talked about Usain Bolt. So we know that Usain Bolt kind of runs that 100 meters pretty quickly, right? And so if you kind of have an average idea about how quickly he runs at 100 meters, and if I said to you, I want you to keep your eyes closed, take a photo of Usain Bolt at exactly halfway through that race, then you kind of know at what point in time you need to take that photo and have that blurring picture of him going past. To explain the next concept, we need to imagine that there are two Usain Bolts and they run the 100 meters at exactly the same speed. And therefore, you know at approximately what times they'll be at specific points in that particular race. Now, in this example, you let Usain Bolt number one start running and you kind of know at what point he would have finished that race. So you can close your eyes and take a photo at the end point and hope you have a photo of him going through like he's won the entire race. So you let him run through and you know you're going to take a photo of him at the end of the race, but you don't let the second one run through until the first Usain Bolt is about halfway through that race. Again, you're doing all of this with your eyes closed. So when the first Usain Bolt is about halfway through a little bit more, you let Usain Bolt number two start running. So when you finally take a photo at the end of the race, you're hopefully going to have Usain Bolt number one, who's at the end of the race, and Usain Bolt number two, who's going to be halfway through the race. And that's exactly how the Bastion Protocol works. Replace Usain Bolt with contrast, and then you inject the contrast into the body, and you know at about 70 seconds you're going to be in the port of Venus phase. But halfway through the race, or a little bit more than that, you want to be injecting the second bolus of contrast. The second Usain Bolt can start running. And so, when you take a photo at the end of the race, you've got one contrast that's at the port of Venus phase of the scan, and the other contrast that is at the arterial phase of the scan. So here, I've got an image. So how can you tell what phase we're at? So you can see the aorta is really, really bright on this particular image. When you compare it to the vertebra that's next to it, it looks kind of almost the same brightness, very, very bright indeed. So therefore, this is an arterial phase image. Now, if we go to this particular image, we can see that the artery is not as bright. And actually, the portal vein is brighter than anywhere else. And so therefore, this is the portal venous image. Now, we look at this one and we can see that they're kind of almost identical in their density. And that's because this particular scan is a bastion protocol scan. So hopefully that was a really quick explanation as to what the bastion protocol is. And this concept of being able to put multiple boluses at multiple times is actually the basis that you can use to try and get a mixture of a scan. It's incredibly, incredibly useful when you're looking at trauma and when time is of the essence. And this particular protocol is used up and down the country. That's interesting. As usual, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of you that have liked my videos, subscribed to my channel. I really, really do appreciate it.